You hate them. Go Pokes! They hate you. Boomer! It's time for you to rep your school and not suck doing it. It's time for the Bedlam Hate Tournament of Champions. And the winner of Bedlam Hate 2015 is... From Oklahoma. Hey, this is Aaron from Moore, and this is my Bedlam Hate. Okay, so no matter how ridiculously dominant 84, 18, and 1 is, we're not going to talk about the past, right? Nor are we going to talk about, you know, golf or equestrian or overall titles, right? Nope. We're just going to talk about football and the lameness of good old Stillwater Pokey Town. Number one, you should easily have four losses. You dodged more bullets than Neo in the Matrix, and you haven't looked nearly as cool doing it. Two, your coach is a dork, and he still uses dippity doo to get his spikes up like some 80s cool guy, and he probably still have a mullet if his wife would let him. And for the love of God, he tucks his hoodie in to his Harbaugh-looking khakis. Lame, dork, gumby. And what in the effing hell is a cowboy back? Is that some kind of Heath Ledger, Jake Gyllenhaal tribute? No wonder you can't run the ball, and no wonder you only had eight yards rushing last week. And isn't OSU sucks an agricultural school? Then why in the hell is your field turf? Can't you guys go grass at an ag school, you friggin' morons? Hey, maybe this year you can keep a leash on your end zone cheerleaders. If they want to trip someone, get them on the pitch and off the gridiron. All those sinners swept shit there this year, too. And can we also keep the turkey leg tossing to a minimum? Because, hey, if we want someone to toss something, we'll call your moms. Can you do me one big favor, though? Pokey fans, can you do me one favor? Can whoever was responsible for the placement of your nice, big, shiny, one, Big 12 banner so that it was in every camera shot the following season, you know, a few years ago, can you guys get that dude on the phone and have him consult with Joe Castiglione so we can figure out how to get nine Nine Big 12 manners in the camera shot next year after we do the South End Zone expansion at the Palace in Norman. And finally, guys, if this is all a little too much and it just gets too tough for you out there, just call Uncle Booney and maybe he'll come running along with some more money like the rich stepdad who buys everybody uniforms just so Junior and his two left feet can get his little nerdy butt on the field. A lame, pathetic, inbred, slack-jawed pokies, you suck.